Welcome back Toy Fans to episode 120 of Reynolds Reviews and on today's episode we've got another unboxing from Ant over at Instamask. Cue the match. Welcome back everyone. Now like I said in the intro, today we're going to do another unboxing from my good friend Ant over at Instamask. Now if you follow the channel you'll know Ant's products Ant does unbelievable recreations of the mask vehicle boxes. They are absolutely superb. They come with instructions, they come with decals, they're even now starting to come with inserts or inlays. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. So uh, I had a bit of cash recently after my birthday uh, and I went to see Ant to see what he had available and because I was picking up quite a few things on this occasion he gave me an unbelievable deal. Uh, there are a few things in there that you'll now be familiar with but there might be a couple of things in that box that you won't be so familiar with. So today we're going to get that box opened, so let's go see who's best suited for this mission. Give me the best agents for this mission. Personnel selected. Luke Reynolds, toy fan and mass collector. Vehicle code name, Fire Spray. Okay, so here we go everyone. Like I said, I do know what's in this box, but I'm very, very excited to get into it. So let's waste no more time. Okay, so let's start with Bandit, uh, or Bullet, depending on which part of the world you come from. But once again, um, Ant has sent me this, and it is just beautiful. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on these, because I know you've seen these before, but obviously it's just worth looking at these every time. Um, the quality is just superb. I mean, again, look at those high-definition images on the front. They just look beautiful. Uh, we've got Ali Bombay there in the corner, that classic kind of logo and just Ant's work is just second to none, it really is amazing. Um, Bandit is probably not one of my favourite vehicles but um, certainly worth getting, I have got a complete Bandit with Ali Bombay, I'm um, not sure you'd get away with that name these days but um, absolutely superb. Like all the others as you can see on the top of the box we've got just two images just showing us the transformation so this is a bike that splits into like um, almost like a hovercraft um, which then Ali Bombay could go on water as well as land so a really cool vehicle and you know one of the vehicles very much like Condor and Vampire back in the day that um, a lot of people had because it was probably one of the cheaper vehicles to buy so um, always worth picking up I mean you know again I do own it I do like it but probably not one of my first choices when it comes to a vehicle but certainly worth having in your collection and like everything that Ant sends, you get a brand new minty decal set and of course a brand new beautiful set of instructions. So yeah, thank you Ant. Once again, these are superb. 
Okay, so let's move on to Stinger. Now look at that, I mean, for me, that is one of the best images on any mask um, box at the moment. I absolutely love Stinger as a vehicle. Uh, it comes with Bruno Shepard and again, just amazing artwork. I know I keep mentioning it, but every time I look at these boxes, they just seem to get better and better and better. Um, again, the same amazing image on the front. And then if we flip it, fantastic images there showing the three stages of transformation from uh, the car, which I believe is the GTO, um, into a, I think it's called a land tank or something like that, but what an amazing box. And just for me, really, uh, Stinger is right up there in the list of mass vehicles for me. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's now starting to produce inlays, like I said in the intro. Stinger is one that he's definitely got an inlay for now, that is done. I think Bullet is, is another one that he's got um, inlays for as well. I think Firefly as well is now finished, as well as a few others. I think Jackhammer is almost there as well. Uh, so yeah, bear that in mind when you're getting these packs. They do do inlays now, but make sure the pack you're getting does include an inlay. Um, but I mean, look at that again for a box. And like all his packs, nice new decal set. With this you even get actually an animated poster and that opens up into um, like an activity sheet. So that is fantastic and like all of them, a brand new set of instructions. We really do care, where have we seen that before? But absolutely unbelievable. More fantastic work, thank you Ant. Okay, so another pack that I got off hand uh, was Gator. Now look at that again. I keep saying it, just every time I look at these boxes, the artwork just seems to get better and better and better. And I love that image with Gator, with Dusty Hayes. Obviously, oh, the, the Jeep's opened up and fired out the speedboat, and it just looks so cool. I really do love it. Um, like all the other boxes, if we spin it over, you can see uh, the transformation. So the, uh, the Jeep opens up at the front and fires out the speedboat. Um, so obviously, land vehicle to then onto water and just just such a lovely vehicle uh, and quite pricey actually in the mask world gear to get a complete gator is actually even though it's one of the smaller vehicles it's actually one of the most expensive or one of the more expensive should i say uh, and once again with everything that ant does brand new set of decals i love those decals to be fair one of my favorite set just i love those multicolored sort of lightning flashes that go on the bonnet i think they are just so cool and then Slightly different this time, so we've now got the instructions in poster form, which Mask did do. They either came in a poster or in a leaflet, so this opens up to um, to show a poster as well as the instructions on the back. Just absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, another fantastic box, and thank you. Let's move on to the last box. And the final box is Raven. Now, again, I left this to last on purpose because look at that image on the front. I really love that image. Um, Raven in flight, I say in flight, sort of on top of the water, it skims across the top of the water with the doors open and I just think it's a beautiful image. I really do love it. Um, like all the other boxes, when you spin it over, you can see the transformation. This was one of my personal favorites when it came to transformation. I just thought it was such a cool transformation. The way the bonnet flips, and then it obviously has the doors open. I just think it's a beautiful vehicle. And again, just a real soft spot um, when I think about it because I had this as a child and I remember playing with it and just a wicked vehicle. Just one of my personal favorites again. Um, very much like everything that Ant does again, you get the instructions. And again, the instructions come in a poster form this time. Again, open that up. It's one poster on one side and the instructions on the other. Um, but you don't actually get a decal set with this because the decals on Raven are on the inside, so generally they're on the inside of the doors, so they generally stay um, fairly clean from any sort of wear and tear, and they usually are still intact with any Raven. So Ant hasn't done a sticker sheet with these, but what he has done is replaced them with a new screw set. So often Raven especially does get wet. Um, you know, when kids used to play with it when they were kids, they would often use it in water because obviously that's the vehicle it was meant to be. Uh, so the screws often went rusty. So instead of putting decals in, he puts a new screw set in. So you can swap them out and make even the bottom of your Raven look nice and minty and brand new. So again, Ant is just covering all bases with these, these boxes. I love them and I will be back for more. Firefly is the next on my list. Uh, but keep up the great work, my friend. These really are amazing. Um, okay, but in the intro, you will have seen something else I pulled out of this box that I want to sort of concentrate on. So let's move on to those. So when I was opening the box, you may well have noticed me pull out two of these carded figure packs. Now, and 
not only does the boxes for the vehicles he also does a few of the carded figure packs so as you can see this is scott tracker and t-bob not a lot of people's favorites i've got to admit it doesn't it doesn't bother me too much i quite like it but i know a lot of people think it was a very pointless sort of figure um obviously not screen accurate either so a lot of people weren't massively keen on this but for me it's essential as part of any mask collection but this is beautiful now straight away if you're a mask fan you'll notice that these are customs they are not recreations because the card back actually looks like you've got two scott trackers and two t-bobs that's because uh, the way ant produces these cards is he actually puts a picture of where on the original carded items where the figures would have sat uh, you'll notice that the way ant's done it he's put just one central bubble with both figures in the middle so these cannot be confused with originals Anybody buying these should know straight away that these are not originals. I mean, the condition gives them away anyway because they are minty, brand new. Um, but yeah, so again, he puts the um, the clamshell in the middle. But the beauty of what Ant does is this isn't just the standard bubble. This is a clamshell and you can open it up. So you can display the figures loose or you can display them in the card like I intend to do. I think they look fantastic on the card, so I intend to keep them on there. But you can open them and display them loose if you wish but they are beautiful and again just another thing that you can add to your collection which i will be doing just take a look at the back so again the back very much like back in the day you've got a picture of t-bob there and scott tracker and just shows how you do the transformation i think you pull the arms out which then act as the handlebars and push it down so scott can stand on the back but again just beautiful and i just think ants work is second to none and um, it produces i believe he does four different ones you've got uh, matt tracker jungle challenge you've got um rescue mission with bruce sato and i think he also does um venom's revenge with miles mayhem i intend to pick them all up um i think they are absolutely superb uh, but again you'll notice in the intro i did pick up one other one and as you can see the second one i picked up was matt tracker and jungle challenge now again in the mass community this figure doesn't seem to get a lot of love but i actually really like it um, so as you can see the same thing again with the card the card image has the places where the figure and the, all the items and the equipment would have been back in the day on the original card so these cannot be again confused with original carded figures and the same style as T-Bob and has got the bubble and it's a clamshell again so it can be opened up if you want to display it loose uh, and he's got Matt Tracker and all the items in the middle so you know these should never ever be able to be mistaken or confused with originals but again look at the artwork look at the card i just think it's absolutely beautiful um all the information on the front there or oh, say information all the equipment and then again on the back very much like back in the day we can see matt tracker all his equipment telling you what everything is his backpack as well and these are just superb so yeah there we go again fantastic work and i will be back for the other two without a doubt i think they are amazing uh, and i really do love the card i love the fact that you put him where the the figures would have been back in the day so we can see that it actually looks like you've got two figures doesn't it the, the images are that good when you actually look at the listing sometimes it really does look like you've got two figures on there but they are superb i love them and i definitely will be back for the other two and there we go everyone so as you can see everything back on the table and how amazing do they look so we've got brand new boxes slash restoration kits for bandit for stinger for raven and for gator we've got carded jungle challenge matt tracker t-bob and scott tracker and as you can see since doing this video i've actually been um, and bought two acrylic cases from action plastics now uh, there may be a few people watching and wondering why um i've actually done that because generally people put um, carded figures into acrylic cases that are maybe potentially valuable or already valuable for protection so somebody might be wondering out there why i've, I've bothered putting those in cases because the customs and um, they're not going to be worth any money in the future um but yeah so people might be wondering why i've done that well it's pretty easy to be fair in my last video i did say i'm going to try and display my current collection better and more prominent uh, and these acrylic cases really make carded figures pop um, but again mainly because I just think they look so much better these were lovingly produced by a friend of mine you know obviously Ant does amazing work we talk a lot now um, they look amazing on display um, and these things really only have to do one thing for me I do not collect for monetary value I don't collect for financial gain I don't collect for investment I simply collect for happy memories so whether these items are original and they were there in the 80s or not um, it doesn't matter to me because all they need to do is one thing which is remind me of my childhood remind me of those times when I was running down the toy aisle in my local Woolworths um, 
and make me smile and make me feel happy and these do exactly that it does not matter to me whether they were there in the 80s or not now of course i love original items and i'll always chase original items as well as these but basically it doesn't matter to me whether they were there in the 80s or not because they've only got to do one thing which is make me smile and make me remember my childhood and give me those happy nostalgic memories and these do exactly that so uh, I've put those items in the acrylic cases because I think they look superb and I still want them protecting because I love them as part of my own collection uh, but yeah and thank you mate and we'll be back I intend to pick up Firefly at some point as well as Venom's Revenge and um, the rescue mission with Bruce Sato I love your stuff keep doing what you're doing I will be back for more without a doubt uh, again if you're interested in Ant's items I will leave a link to his Instagram page and his eBay seller page in the link below buy with confidence everybody he is a super nice guy he will accommodate you if he can and his items are second to none if you've got any loose mask vehicles that you want to complete definitely definitely go see Ant so so there you go everyone I hope you enjoyed that if you're new to the channel thank you for stopping by and giving me a shot I hope you'll consider leaving a like and subscribing and if you're one of my existing viewers and existing subscribers thank you for sticking with me everyone I know I say it all the time but I really do appreciate it leave any comments or questions in the comment section below I try to read everyone's comments and reply to everyone and as always keep collecting I'll see you next time <laughs>